Hello and welcome to Wig in It. And once more, we're back here with another tournament game. This one is from the Elegant Sunbird Scuffle. Uh, we're out of the group stage and into the knockouts. So we did uh, qualify from our group. We came second, uh, which yeah got us through into this knockout round where it is 64 players remaining and it is a best of three. Um, but if you've been following this tournament, you'll know the format we've got here. We alternate between games of Oceania and games without Oceania. Um, we are going into a game of Oceania here in this one, and we're going first uh, in this game one. So, yeah, we're going to jump into this one. Very interesting look at that tray, but let's see what we've got in our starting hand as well. And okay, some interesting options as well. I mean, before we do anything else, we'll look at the Kilda in the tray. We'll definitely be thinking about picking that up, especially with Bruce Blackbird. Feels like it could be a good Grasslands engine approach here. Let's take a look at the bonus cards as well. Okay, Mechanical Engineer. Uh, excellent top tier bonus cards. So definitely we'll be keeping that and hoping for eight points come the end of the game. But yeah, I think, uh, I don't know. There might be enough here to just uh, just go with the kill deer. Um, not really got a great forest option. The, the Bowerbird is okay, but I think in a two player game where you don't get any choice and you're you're having to give um you know that worm to the same player every time not quite as good um yeah definitely prefer that in multiplayer games and yeah stellar's j is sort of it's okay <laughs> it's okay i mean we will take a look at the feeder do we have many seeds okay we have got some lots of nectar as well um but yeah always the tricky thing if you're going with kill we do of course still have house rules in effect which means kill can't go down until round two so you've got to figure out what you're going to do all through round one but yeah like i say i think there probably there probably is enough here for me to just keep the blackbird and the jay um grab the kill deer and then i think we'll get the jay down i think i probably won't spend a nectar because i'll need that for the jay to play that start taking food we can of course get some extra nectar maybe spend that on drawing some more cards um and that might not be a bad approach but yeah it might just have to be a bit of biding time so we can, of course, um, yeah, go and get that kill deer down. So, yeah, I think uh, I think we will lock that in. I think we will lock that in, and yeah, like I say, um, draw the kill deer. See how the rest of this round one goes for us. And all right, here we go. Onto our first turn. We'll see what our opponents kept. Four birds. Must be some good stuff in there. Um, but we do at least know we're going to get something good in this kill deer. So yeah, good to be able to pick that up. As I say, on this first turn. And yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what good stuff they've got. Um, definitely is, uh, yeah, a little bit nervy when you see four birds being kept. Because that does normally mean some good stuff. So um, hopefully not going to be too powerful. Uh, but yeah, like I said, um, I think for us, it is probably just going to be a case of um, going through the motions, getting this J down, taking a bit of food. I think we probably will draw cards, maybe once, maybe twice. Uh, being able to spend the Nectar down here, get some extra cards, and of course help towards your spent Nectar goal. Um, definitely nice early on, especially when you've got a bird in the forest and you're able to get a bit more food. So yeah, I think that will be um, how we approach it. Maybe we'll play Blackbird. I think it is going to be good to have that down before the kill deer. Police is with Do you know what? When I saw... Uh, berry and nectar I thought surely not uh, but it is which is definitely unfortunate because we don't have any um, cavity nesting birds so that might have to be uh, top of the wish list if we are going to go drawing cards because yeah we are going to want to make the most of these free eggs that I'm sure are going to be coming through from the woodpecker so yeah very strong bird very strong opening in the forest there for them um, just got to hope yeah, they don't have too many more cavity nest spaces, but um, with that sort of greedy opening, I suspect they probably do. So yeah, already um, going grabbing some food, getting a couple of nectar. Very nice. We're going to go and grab food as well. Hopefully on this reroll, there we go. We do get something off the J. So that's good. That's helpful. That's nice. Um, and yeah, like I say, I think we're going to be we're going to be spending that nectar. Um, on picking up some more birds now. This grey butcher bird might be one I look at. Oh, they go taking food again. Didn't expect that. Maybe the surplus of nectar. Yeah, they've got four nectar now. So, okay, fair enough. 
Um, but yeah, they're great, but that's sort of catching my eye um, as potentially an option. Um, so I think I will grab that. I'll top deck first. Well, Common Nighthawk, you're pretty useless. It's got to be said. Um, Tree Sparrow, well, there's the cavity desk that I should have grabbed. Uh, but never mind. It is a little late for that, but yeah, I think we'll play the Blackbird will lay eggs. We could tuck this Nighthawk. And I mean, if the Tree Sparrow is still there, I think I can go and grab it. Um, but yeah, it may well be gone um, before I get the chance. We'll see. But yeah, it might not be worth necessarily. I don't know. Maybe it is worth going out of my way to grab it. Just purely um, for the pink power as well. If they're going forest engine, taking lots of food. Um, and I need more food to support my killed it grasslands and that could definitely be a pretty good option um, so they have got to draw birds but they have not taken the tree sparrow real puffin um, which is yeah definitely not ideal so what did they take I was not even looking at what the other bird in the tray was oh was it the pukiko I feel like I remember seeing that um, so okay that may be their wetland bird I think that puffin is going to be very healing for them as well though but yeah this tree sparrow um oh it could be an option you know it could be an option i'm just trying to work out how i would otherwise play this round probably play blackbird lay eggs maybe take food and play the butcher bird um that honestly doesn't sound too bad um as a sequence of turns and then just rely on being able to find something else. So I think, at the very least, as I said, I do want to get this down. I think we'll do... And we'll spend the rat. We'll keep the worm, because we might want to keep the worm for the killdeer anyway. Just gives us more options this way, but... Yeah, this way at least as well, we can... Um, potentially... Potentially be getting another bird down. Um, that's going to help the center round. I'm not really sure. I'm going to go too hard on this, but... Yeah, it sort of depends a bit. I mean... Yeah, I did think they might go and grab Puffin. Um, so they might go and play that. They might go and play that Pukiko or something else, but lots of cards. So this is definitely interesting. This is definitely interesting that they kept a lot of cards at the start and haven't urgently gone and played them um, after picking up all the food. So we'll see. At least it's not a wood duck. That's, you know, I suppose that's one thing at least. We know that's not incoming, but um, yeah, maybe uh, maybe something, maybe something else more scary is incoming, but... Oh, do I take food now or do I wait? Um, I think I'm going to take food now and see what we get on that reroll. Okay, that is good. We can take the seed or the, take the nectar there, I should say, and then take the seed here, block all the nectar, um, and make sure we're getting everything we want. So we can lay eggs, as I say, play the butcher bird, and then got the food, play killed it, and I think we just run this grass. And, um, butcher bird's really good. Um, should be able to get us lots of points. So Acorn Woodpecker, okay, so they have got some more forest and more cavity nest spaces. So maybe we can do something for this and around in that case. Remains to be seen. Um, but yeah, they are definitely having the upper hand on the on the forest and on these cavity spaces. So am I going to regret leaving that tree sparrow? Or am I going to hopefully find something else anyway uh, with the kill deer being able to get that down? So only time will tell. Only time will tell, but for now at least we are, yeah, being able to get some semblance of an engine going, which is key, so more eggs that we're missing out on, but I would assume, yeah, they have laid on both, so um, this sort of smells like it is a Pukiko, if they're, that's what they play with the worm and the, and the two seeds, that would only leave them on one bird um, for this end around, so interesting, we'll see how that plays out, which bird going down though. Um, not great for the mechanical engine, I should say. We're just going for all the cup nests. Um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully we can find a bit more nest diversity um, as this game plays out. Uh, but at the very least, we are winning this end of round, so very, very nice. We'll see what they played. It wasn't Deep Akiko, um, but some very nice options for them in the tray here. Cowbird up against the Grasslands. Um, but that Flycatcher as well could be a good one. They do pick up the Flycatcher, not the Cowbird, so see how that plays out for sure though let's say play killed it no questions asked um and now it's just about running this grasslands and yeah drawing lots of cards um you know we're gonna be tucking stuff on the blackbird we're gonna be hopefully getting some tucks and some caches on this butcher bird 
Uh, pretty, pretty good point score. It can be a bit hit and miss, can run hot and cold. Hopefully it's going to be on our side here in this game. And there is a lovely cavity nesting bird. Thank you very much. Uh, Prothonotary Warbler. We will be picking you up. Which bird not hitting this time. Um, but yeah, that's a good find. Flycatcher as well, to be honest. Quite nice, but yeah. I can definitely see myself wanting to get this down. And going from there, but... Yeah, no, uh, no platform nest either. No platform nest, so... Um, I suspect we're going to see a puffin um, appearing in a matter of moments. Um, and that will be, yeah, their way at least of, of getting something in a platform nest. Um, but we might have to, yeah, we might have to, to sort of abandon ship on that. But let's see. Have they got, okay. I suppose they could just, uh, I was going to say they could play their flycatcher, I'm not sure why you do that now. Still loads and loads of cards in there, I don't think they're really throwing these for too much more food, although they might have done on that turn. Um, but yeah, they're, they're keeping their cards close to their chest, sort of, physically and uh, metaphorically, in this case. But okay, um, oh man, I do kind of want to be able to grab a platform this but it's sort of it's a balance it's it's do i get this down and make sure i'm getting the free eggs coming through and, and just accept that i'm going to lose this end around or do i still keep digging and trying to find that extra platform nest but i think for now we're going to settle and hopefully excellent get ourselves a seed and yeah that is going to help out a lot so being able to get this down Start to uh, start getting the three eggs coming through. It's got lots of egg space as well, and of course, courtesy of this Kildeer power, um, shouldn't be too much of a problem filling up on the eggs. We can be quite selective on where where we discard from. So Franklin's girl in the wetlands. I mean, genuinely speechless. So fair enough. That's going to be fun. Um, that is definitely going to help <laughs> in terms of getting extra cards. Uh, yeah, you don't see that every day. Um, but it is another star nest, so that, yeah, is probably going to set them up very nicely. And with the Pukiko, even, can lay an egg on there. So, okay. Very, very good for them. Do I think they're going to draw now, then? Or do I think they're going to take more food? Because, um, yeah, that, I've got to say, that Great Christmas Flycatcher is super appealing. It's a good forest bird to get a bit more food going. Um, but I think probably at this point, I think we just focus on getting the warbler down that we have and that we know we can make use of so I mean at 39 points definitely surprisingly high or oh, cowbird okay so yeah they are prepping for extra eggs coming through they did pick that up of course they didn't pick it up the first time but they they went back and grabbed it um, which makes sense so okay well yeah you're gonna get some free eggs enjoy um, but yeah we are as I say set up here main dark well I mean, I'm glad they didn't get that because that would have been very, very scary. Little penguin, you count as uh, smaller than, I think it's 40 centimeters in the case of this butcher bird. So we'll take that for two points. It is 40. Um, but yeah, that main duck, man, that would have been very, very potent here with all the extra cards they're getting in that wetland. So um, yeah, not, uh, not one for me in this case. Not really going for the wetlands approach, but definitely glad uh, that my opponent did not get their hands on that so um yeah as i say score definitely seems kind of high um definitely seems kind of high for where we're at maybe some of that is sort of inflated in nectar points and of course we're going to lose this end around and not get any points there so that will sort of bring us a little bit more back down to earth um, but hopefully yeah just through this grass and through this kill deer Hopefully we're going to see cards. I mean, I'm worried because my opponent now with this cull in the wetlands, they're going to see a lot more cards. Um, and yeah, they're going to be able to be very selective. We know they've already got some good stuff. Um, that flycatcher is going to be huge points for them later on. Puffin as well. So got to bear those in mind and watch out. But um, I think we've got a good setup. I think we basically just need um, one more grass and bird, I would say. Um, it's going to set us up nicely. And yeah, so glad. So glad I've got this warbler in place getting these extra um, free eggs that we can now make the most of. So uh, we'll keep lead eggs. See what we find. Okay. More forest birds. 
more points on the butcher bird though, definitely take that. Um, well at this point probably, probably Blue Jay can go. And it's at least reassuring to know that I uh, I won't have found, if I had Cat Digging I wouldn't have found the uh, the platform less bird um, that I would maybe have wanted for the center round. So um, I think we, yeah, made the right call going with the warbler and getting the three eggs coming through. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. This is this is going to be interesting with their egg space with this girl. Because obviously the star nest is very helpful for depleted woodpecker, but they want to use it on the cowbird. And two cowbirds, well, where are you going to lay your eggs? <laughs> where are these eggs going? <laughs> um, I'll gladly lay eggs now and you're not going to get anything. Um, and yeah, being the Pikiko as well, it's the only, it's the only target, that Pikiko, all game. Because you can't lay eggs on a cowbird, so... Um, this is going to be interesting. I think they're going to have a lot of fun trying to manage those egg spaces. But um, yeah, we are going to lay ourselves some eggs here and keep uh, keep digging. And I've got to say, it's sort of tempting just to pick up this horned lark. Um, does sort of maybe in some universe help the mechanical engineer. But let's just keep going. Yeah, just not really finding stuff. Not really finding that extra grass and birds. So hopefully that'll change. Going to round number three. 50 points. Where is this coming from? <laughs> Slightly uh, surprised at that. But yeah, there we go. They do win that end of round. That is um, less surprising. But there we go. Okay, East Imperial Eagle. Don't mind that. I was going to legs anyway because they're not going to get a freebie here. Um, and yeah, that is definitely a welcomed sight. Um, so we'll go ahead and pick that up. Butcher Bird, what are you going to do for me? You're going to keep hitting. So not too bad. I've not been keeping two close tabs but I think it has been yeah pretty uh, pretty good this butcher bird um, probably California quail I think is going to be yeah the odd one out there but yeah I think we're on sort of three or five so definitely happy with that and maybe that's going some way to uh, helping this score but barn swallow comes up I think that'll be a good one for my opponent to look at um, so not the star nest, which I think you know, I think they need more cup nest space here with these two cowbirds. So yeah, not uh, not at all surprising to see them go and pick that up. Um, but they do reveal a laughing kookaburra, which is intriguing. That could definitely be an interesting one to put in this grasslands um, and get a bit of food. It is, it's, it's kind of getting late. It's kind of getting late for a, a, a low point bird like that. But maybe there is a universe in which. It will do something on this end of round. Because, um, yeah, it's unlikely. Not impossible, but it's unlikely I think they're going to play two birds. Maybe they've got some double birds or something, but yeah, probably play Barn Swallow and I don't know, maybe they're not going to play something else, but um, yeah, I think for as long as they still don't have enough egg space to benefit from my free eggs, I'm sort of fine with uh, yeah, with laying eggs here and, and not giving them too much benefit. So great egret, you are Yeah, definitely a nice option as well, to be honest. Um, especially if we do get this cookerburra and get some extra fishes and rats coming through. So um, let's pick that up. Which bird not gonna work miracles that time. Um let's get rid of Probably the whip bird. Yeah, let's do the whip bird. Okay, that got wit. Could be a nice double play. If we can get our hands on it, but yeah, I think we definitely need to be taking food. And um, yeah, like I say, it's may I don't know, maybe it is late for the cookerbar. It's 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 kinda hard to say at this point. Um by the time I play it, how many turns am I really gonna be using it? Um it is another cavity nest, so maybe a bit more space is gonna help. Um and of course mechanical injury, but yeah, okay, they do take uh do take the god whip. I say maybe not terribly surprising. Um, but they're doing a lot of drawing cards, and drawing cards is not worth any points, so this could be interesting. This is the the output of all their digging. We're going to see uh, what can come up, but yeah, I imagine they're going to want to take food, try and get this barn swallowed down. And we have a decision, because we could just play this eagle um, and just sort of go with that in the grasslands. Um, but like I said, I'm definitely tempted to go and play this Kookaburra. Legs a bit more. Just see what comes up. We've still got this Eagle to play. Maybe later. So I think I am going to lean 
towards doing that. And uh, I don't know, maybe this buzzard, maybe it's a last resort. Double play into the into the buzzard with the egret. Yeah, probably screech owl. Um, not gonna play you. So maybe do we grab? Do we grab a rat here? I think maybe we grab a rat and we'll reroll once. Okay, that's fine. That's worked out okay. Um, and I think we do take this seed because I think the food is going to be more precious uh, than trying to score points through the caches. So, yeah, we'll uh, play this cookerbro. Indeed, they do go and take food. We've got the egg space here, though. But yeah, we're, we're running tight on egg space got to be cognizant of that so um that is um yeah that's gonna be something to to bear in mind we can't legs forever we're gonna need to be taking food and playing some birds and, and definitely having something big like this egret i think helps a lot uh in that respect so maybe just pick up that broga to be honest um, but i'm really hoping i can find something nice nice big point bird uh with a lot of egg space kind of what i've been for so yeah there we go did uh they did take food. They are starting to cash on this woodpecker, but yeah, I mean, think about it up here. You know, you get a cash, you get two eggs, but you're giving me an egg. It's only a couple of points. It's only a couple of points, and it's quite late, and it's not loads of food. So we'll see. I imagine, yeah, imagine they'll want to be maybe playing that barn swallow, but even that, uh, as with this cookerbird, is maybe on uh, the late side. But yeah, we will. We'll go ahead and get this down. We're committing. We're going for it. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll lay eggs. Don't think we can lay eggs twice. So I think we will then run out of space. But what have they played? It is the barn swallow. In the grasslands, okay. Maybe now these cards are just going to turn into eggs and tucks. But again, the <laughs> egg space seems to be a real problem. So um, that might be... Yeah, that might be a, a difficulty for them. But let's... Let's lay eggs. Uh, we're not getting any fish. <laughs> Just a bit annoying. I still hear some fish there. Um, but I think we'll take a rat and see if that's going to help us. We'll discard off a cavity space. Just because maybe. And there we go. That's a nice big point bird that we can double play into. So I'll definitely take that. Um, Butcher bird, what are you going to do? Very nice. Wouldn't have minded that, to be honest. But it certainly works nonetheless. Okay, do we... <laughs> Do we, do we, do we? I'm entertaining the idea of playing this hawk, but let's think. Um, mechanical engineer, let's do a bit of a sit rep on that. So we've got loads of cup nests, we've got two cavities. We would get uh, plenty of platforms. It's kind of it's kind of that ground nest, so maybe I should have picked up that broker, but it's kind of that last ground nest is what we're looking for. Um, this could potentially be something that wins us this end of round. Um, but I suppose this is as well. Um, just playing it on its own, so maybe, yeah, maybe we'll just get rid of the the hawk. I don't think I'd be taking food enough that um, the brown power would really, uh, really be coming into play. So they are going to be starting to get this, um, yeah, double benefit now of the cowbirds finally. So um, that is something, definitely something we've got to watch out for uh, whenever you're giving free stuff away, as we are here. Um, but yeah, I think. Uh, Oh no, that was a mistake. The whole reason was to keep the hawk was because it hit the center round goal. So okay, we're not going for that then. That's the decision made for me. Um, but okay, great tip. Yeah, so they've not got any more food. So oh, that's annoying. That was a genuine mistake. Because um, yeah, I think if I had the hawk, I'd be playing it, win the end of round, take those extra points. Um, whereas in this position, yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more difficult. So. Um, oh, I might just legs anyway, do you know what? I might just legs anyway. Because um, I don't really want to take food here. don't want to grab stuff that isn't nectar and worms. I need fish. If there was fish in the feeder, I think I might go and take food here and just be ready to double play. Can't play this eagle yet um, unless I'm going to overpay and not pay... Ro not pay... Uh... Yeah not pay the rats but I don't know I think we I think we do legs here we bite the bullet um, and actually maybe get rid of all that nectar well okay that didn't quite work we're still not getting fish so not ideal uh, but okay what are we going to find it's another ground nest I think we do pick up this brolga do you know what I think we do because we're getting loads of worms we're getting you know all the food for brolga 
and it could potentially be worth another five points, which would make it a better play than the Night Heron. So I think we do. Go and grab that. This Butcher Birds, it's been doing work. It's been doing work. You'd love to see it. Um, definitely love to see it. Now, was that another mistake? Probably should have uh, yeah, not, uh, not gone and done. Not gone and done that, because maybe I want to be playing... I don't know, maybe we pay for the the food. Because I think what I could have done is left this egg space on the cavity nest, knowing... Well, actually, are they going to take food here? Maybe they're not going to take food. Maybe they're going to lay eggs. Um, but sort of expecting that Frigg is going to come through there. I don't want to miss out on that, but... Yeah, we should um, we should hopefully have a pretty clear endgame uh, in this case, to be honest. I think, yeah, unless... Well, they are taking food. Unless, like, Whooping Crane or something comes up. Um, I think this Brolga... I think that is going to be a good play. And maybe we take food, actually. Maybe we take food turn one. Um, I am sort of hoping that this Kookaburra can get me the fish I need. This is no guarantee. Um, but yeah, we do food. We can double play. Could maybe even still play the Heron. And then I think there is still time to get the Eastern Imperial Eagle down as well. Um, and doing all of that would be good. And yeah, maybe try and not lay eggs too much if they've got space available um, on these star nests, which it does seem like. Yeah, they, they, they're they sort of managing it, but again, I think that is, that is maybe going to prove um, a little bit tricky going into this late game, but we'll see. We will see. But yeah, they are taking feeder, so um, we are going to get a free eggs that we can't make the most of, so that is definitely annoying. And yeah, tie on the end around, so uh, do I wish I kept that hawk? Maybe. But then I wouldn't be able to get the Brogger, so lots of nice options coming up in this train now. Sea Eagle, Galanule, all these big point birds. We're sort of good on that front. So we're probably not going to make use of those. Um, but yeah, that Nectar in the feeder. I definitely wouldn't mind getting my mitts on that if it is still there. So I think that could come very much in handy. Oh, never mind. I shouldn't have said anything. I jinxed it. But okay, we've got some fish. We've got some fish. I'll take that. I've not really looked at the next. I think they're going to win anyway. So do you know what? Fish is fine. <laughs> I can live with that. <laughs> Let them win all the nectar, which, yeah, when you go forest engine, it's sort of inevitable. And yeah, they're going to use all the nectar in the in the wetlands anyway on that puffin. So yeah, it's not going to matter too much. But another free egg that we're missing out on. And okay, yeah, I think we do take food here. Um, do we... Do we throw a card? I think we do. I think we do. And okay. I think that was worth it. Um, now at this point, now we can work out, okay. Two fish and a rat. Fish, worm, rat. And then... Yeah, I think we... Hmm. Do we take or do we cash? I think we take. I think we take, and I'm pretty sure we're going to lay eggs um, at least once this round. So we, if we change our mind and we don't need that food, we can always discard it for another egg. I think egg space should not be too much of a problem um, once, yeah, once some of these birds start going down. So, uh, yeah, I think we. I don't know. Can we still make? Can we still make use of this eagle? I think with this end around, oh, actually, no, never mind. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe we will. I'm going to say, we're seven behind, but we are just about to play nine foods worth in two turns, so that could get us somewhere, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see this flycatcher go down for them, so it's going to be a lot of eggs. They've got a lot of these cavity and star nests out. So that's definitely scary. Don't like to see it. Um, but yeah, Puffin has gone down. Yeah, I think we'll do... One of our double plays, at least. I think this is the priority. Um, although, to be honest, I think they're probably both equally um, important here. And yeah, we'll do, I think, that. Is that fine? No. We do want to keep... Yeah, we want to do like that, I think. Yeah, we want to keep the worm. That makes more sense. And yeah, they might take food. So we'll sort of preemptively clear off um, this X base here, so... Yeah, we might might not be able to do the, the eagle. 
We might not be able to do the eagle, but um, I think that's okay. I think as long as we can do Night Heron. Um, but we'll see. I suppose there is a universe in which Kookaburra gives a rat and then we skip the Blackbird. We could then still play the Eagle. Would still be seven points, but you're sort of skipping two off the Blackbird. So it's maybe only five points. But if it has an end around swing, it's maybe, you know, eight points, maybe 11 points. So we've got some sums to do. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely a strange game. This is like a very front heavy game. And I think this is a case as well of where the nectar swing um, definitely changes things because we were we were winning all the nectar early on. And then it's very much changed with Gay Woodstock as well. <laughs> oh man, see, so yeah, okay. They almost certainly take food and play, um, play the flycatcher. So that will be, yeah, Eagle's not going to make a difference in that case. That's fine. That at least gives us the information that we need uh, to make an informed decision. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and play this Night Heron. Clear off the Blackbird in this case. Okay. Oh, I honestly don't know. This is uh, this is kind of difficult to work out where we're at in this game. We're, we're sort of doing okay. I think maxing out this mechanical engine is definitely nice. Um, yeah. They are going to have... A lot of points coming through, but if we're laying eggs twice, they are definitely going to run out of egg spaces on um, these cavity, these cavityness. So unless they can do some kind of double play, I actually haven't seen. Maybe they've top decked a, a bluebird or or something like that. Yeah, they are grabbing lots of food, so could well be a, a double play incoming, which will help them out a lot. Um, but given, I think given now, given that this eagle's actually not going to help for the end of round, I think I'm better off. Uh, I think I'm better off just laying eggs twice there. I think I'm better off laying eggs twice. So we're going to get a free egg coming through. Glad I got the space there. Actually, can we lay eggs twice? We've got eight egg spaces. One, two, three. And we can just about... Because if we throw the eagle, we lay four eggs discard one here, get one back here, so it's gaining four and then the next time we gain four as well, so very fortunate no calculate, but still works out, so yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think this goes I was so excited to see this, so full of hope I think it's just not been the game for it so, bye bye it's Cookabone again, it'll give a rat it's going to give more than a rat, it's going to give all the rats so it's kind of laughing in my face there, but never mind, kill deer see what you find, <laughs> goldfinch would have been nice earlier What's the Butcher Bird going to keep doing? It's going to keep hitting, so this could be crucial. This could be very, very crucial here. Um, these are bonus points at the end of the game. You know, two-point swing from, uh, from a Butcher Bird missing to hitting. Many, many games are decided by less than a two-point swing, so yeah, we uh, we like to see that. And as I say, definitely been doing definitely doing hard, doing hard work. I mean, we can sort of compare it to Blackbird, I think. I think Blackbird got one use before, so it's gone six hits from nine attempts. But definitely hitting above average there. It's got one more go. Um, but did they do a double play? No, Whooping Crane. Okay. Hmm. Maybe, maybe they've got Omnivore, or maybe that helps with some other bonus card as well. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they're taking into account the the missed eggs. Um, on the star nests that, that, that the, the flycatcher would have filled up. So, yeah, I was expecting flycatcher, so whooping crane. This is so scary when you see four bonus cards. So, not, yeah, not excited to see this come up. They could definitely have some good ones, like I say, Omnivore. Uh, Fishery Manager, they've got quite a few of those. You know, Forester for a few points. So, um, it's nice at least knowing that we've got this in the back pocket, but um, still, yeah, still a scary situation. So, um, I suppose actually, yeah, we would. We would miss out because we could throw the uh, we could throw the food, keep the goldfinch, and skip the kill deer. But yeah, I think in this case we throw the goldfinch because we're going to miss out on the egg anyway. So we'll do this. Maybe this food is going to help. Root tiebreaker. There's all the fish we wanted earlier. One last use on the kill deer. One last use on the butcher bird. Close miss. Close miss, but it's still done well. And yeah, one last tuck an egg on that black bird. So. Yeah, a couple more eggs coming through for them. Those two cowbirds, definitely scary and they went down, but 
yeah, how many times were they both used? That's the big question. Uh, but they'll get another end of round goal defeat. And yeah, I think it was a clean sweep on the Nectar, so you'd never like to see that in these Oceana games. Losing all the Nectar and a lot of those end of round goals. Um, those, those are big points. Those are big points that you don't want to be giving away. But we're going to go here into the scores and we're going to see how this one plays out. So yeah, I fully expect them to take a bit of a lead um, through the birds, but not a huge lead. So it's going to come onto their bonus cards. 12. That is a reassuringly no number from for bonus cards. So yeah, as I say, end of round goal strong for them. But eggs, we did pretty well there. So we are going to hopefully drag it back a little bit. Cash is quite close, but tuck cards. I know we had a good fair chunk of those. So how close is it going to be on this nectar? It is going to be fairly close, but it's going to be a win for us. A very relieving one. 118 in the end to 110. So yeah, high scoring. High scoring, but I suppose that's the, the symptom of having those pink powers and having police with a pick as well. So we'll take a quick look at their bonus cards. What do they have? They did have Forrester. Site selection. Okay, well, lots of star nest help for that, for sure. Falconer, definitely a miss late on. But platform build, I think that makes up with the four points. So yeah, not not the sort of top tier bonus cards I was definitely scared of. Um, but definitely, you know, one or two bonus card swings. Maybe maybe could bring back but eight points. It is a, a bit of a chunky um, advantage there. So there we go. It is a win. Quite happy with that game. Uh, Kildeer obviously helped, but um, yeah, Grassens still kind of works, even against two big powers in these Oceania games. But we are not through yet. We have still got another game to play, and it is going to be a European expansion game with us going second. So if you want to see that, and if you want to stay up to date with all the other tournament games, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you stay tuned, and I look forward to seeing you in another video very, very soon.